everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl nancy Aka. please if you're new here don't forget to subscribe leave a comment turn on post notifications so like the title of the video i'm just going to be telling you all a story of how i almost got dismissed in secondary school from four because of crimes i might have committed guilty as charged but not entirely guilty in my thing uh second to the last video i did a question and answer poll and then somebody asked me like my worst experience in secondary school in a boarding school my worst experience in boarding school and i mentioned this particular day and then i thought why don't i tell you all the story and tell you all how it happened because a lot of people have been judging me like ah oh, nancy you, well, whatever whatever um, first of all i'm guilty for the crimes that i committed I don't know why I want to defend myself here. Okay, so how did this all start? All right, before we begin, I have to take you back to my first day in body school. Just kidding, I'm not going to take you back to my first day in body school. That will make it extremely long and boring. And I want this story to just interesting, hot, everything, something like that. I really need a phone stand like i've been to like 12 shops at commercial avenue i cannot find a phone stand i need something that's going to be holding my phones because right now i'm holding my phone over a balcony uh -huh. so the phone falls now that's that's off my youtube career that is the end for my youtube career that is that's the end unless i can use my laptop to vlog that's how things are right now Flashback. Before I start this story, I just want to tell you that in secondary school, I was a very, very sweet girl. I was like a very, very sweet girl. I was obedient. I was punctual. Always having good brains. I was that girl. And then puberty came along. It was so bad that I don't know. Somebody just had to put an end to all these changes that I had. Because everybody in school was just surprised and everybody made me. They were like, oh, you never used to be like this. You changed. But anyhow, let me start the story anyway. I was in form 4 and that was in 2000 and 2013. 2010. 2012. One minute, 37 seconds later. I was 14 years old <laughs> no that was i don't know i don't know but all i know is i was 14 i was something like 14 years old because i know i know for sure that i did not take alcohol at 13. <laughs> being in the boarding school there's always these rules like to not uh take food out of the refectory it's not break bounds not drink alcohol in school to not have boyfriends in school to not in fact in general uh, just just all you need to do in school is just to go to the refectory, go to class, go to church, go to the dormitory on time. That's just all. That was all about body school. And you know, I had a couple of friends that we used to disagree with all those rules. They we did not start we did not just get up all of a sudden and become stubborn. It was after this incident that we were like, okay, since you guys wanted to treat us like criminals, you don't want to let us have our phone, right? Alright, let's disrespect everybody in school. So it happened on a f um, I was in for four years. It happened on a Thursday night. So the circumstances leading to this decision, I don't know to today. I cannot recall. I cannot recall. But I know that it has something to do with Joker. We just wanted to have fun. We just wanted to go out and have fun. This is how it all started. I came back from evening preps that day. I saw my classmates. I saw my friends dressing up. There were four of them. I saw them dressing up and I was like, ah, what's happening? What's happening, girls? They're like, oh, these guys invited us, our classmates, to our friends. Our friends, not our boyfriends. They're like, oh, these guys invited us. And we want to go out and drink and dance. I was like, I'm a, I could not even break bounds. I'm going to like, I'm, I could not even leave school during the day, like to just cross the road, to just leave the friends, to cross the road and buy something. On the road. Mm. I was just there looking at them, they were dressing up. I was like, I was like so you girls are really dressing up to go out in the night. Eh? 
Yes, Nancy. Okay, you go join with or not? How could you come? Ah, no, I cannot. Nah, nah, nah. Like, what would my parents think of me? What would the school think of? Principal think of me? What would my girl relax? I'm not going to know. Just. Just dress up and let's go. A goody two shoes in me wanted to just stay back, sleep, and then continue my daily activity. I don't know who finally convinced me, but the next thing I knew was I found myself dressing up. No, as for assorted dresses, because in boarding schools you enter only with your sportwear, and you know you cannot wear your sportwear and go out. You, know, you just have to wear like a shirt and a leggings or something. So we dressed up. We skilled the things. Yeah, we skilled the things. It was around 11 p.m. after prep, so it was like at 11 p.m. So I followed them into this bar in town. Like it was not even a club. I was a bit disappointed because it was just a bar, and we were all disappointed. But it's having fun, so you just have to pretend that you're having fun. So we acted like we were having fun and like the guys bought us drinks and then hey, i'm going to have malta they were like no we don't drink malta here we don't drink sweet drinks here you need to take something hot baby girl you need to take something alcoholic and that's when they gave me this, this nonsense drink poster i don't want to catch that thing again i have bts whenever i look at it i took like a glass my head it was like I should carry my. It was like I should carry everybody on my head, or I should fly. I don't know, but that was my first time getting drunk. That was my first experience. I did not, I, I did not like the feeling at all. I felt like I was falling, like <laughs> I was falling. Then around, I told my friends that no, I cannot do this again. I have to go back to school. I was like no, Nancy, that this day it's already two o'clock. I was like two o'clock. I'm up at two. O'clock. How am I even up at two o'clock? Like. God, 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 God. My parents are in the house sleeping and I'm here, I'm up at 2 o'clock. The next thing I knew, I found myself running, like just running. I did not, my head with all the, the, the alcohol in my head, I, I just wanted to go to school. So I ran, I entered school campus, I did not care if the noise I was making, I just ran, I entered the I went to the dormitory with all the boots in my head, I started making noise. You know, because when a girl gets drunk, she's going to spill her lungs. So I just started talking and spilling and explaining everything that happened there, how people were dancing. And everybody just woke up in the dormitory, they were like... Came to the, dormitory. the boys came to the dormitory to, to see, see the other girls off. Because I came to the dormitory early. And then they, that's when they left the place and they were like, Nancy, are you mad? How can you live like that in your life? Do you know what could have happened to you? Do you know that it's dangerous? I should not have done this. I, I really should not have done this. I was really regretting. But the next day, we were still pretty much hung over. Like the next morning, everybody went for morning devotion. And we were still in the dormitory. People went for the first period and the second period. Like three. when the discipline master came down to look for us, we woke up, climbed up on the ceiling. We hit there. When he came to the dormitory, he did not see anybody. So he went back to school. I was like, okay. There's some particular people in school that are missing and he's not seeing them and that's when uh one of our friends ran and came back to the dormitory and was like ah you girls just have to come up because dm be fine now ha they don't do roll call on no day when they can't do me she fine now on no day what's on a day when i come back up school so we carried our our sleepy eyes and went up school and the entire like we had a mask class i can remember very well i know these jokes that girls always do when they seem sleeping they're like oh did you go to the nightclub last night? Oh, did you spend your... Those push ups in class, those... Or pasta B in class, those ones that always want to sneeze, those baby ones, they're like, ha ha, yes, uh, uh, you know, you know, the, when they're laughing at something and you know that they, you could get caught and you're just like... The next day was a Saturday and immediately after inspection, Opasi girls were like, okay, we heard that some girls from four girls went out in the night if you're amongst them please just follow us and come to the dormitory <laughs> um, we went to the opposite dormitory oh god oh dear god to me. so we went to the opposite dormitory and they had belts there lying on their bed belts 
all types of belts you know how body school students get crazy about their belts they don't play with their belts when i'm going to joke i know when i need down they have your spikes they have they had all kinds of kings they're waiting for us say, is this beatings you want to see girl got the beatings of her life like i must cross skin for cross skin on top of my back all kinds of style like like I said, this story is embarrassing. I just had to buy the bullet and tell you all, but we were beating. Like, and after that, they looked at us. One of them opened her mouth and said, I'm so they can't even correct her. They're not going to learn lesson. Who shaved their eyebrows? They did. They did shave our brows. Like, like they shaved our brows completely. Like the, and it was really terrible because the next week we had to go for, we had to go for sporting me. But it's, it's a situation where, Presbyterian schools come together like P schools go to other P schools and then they had to do sports and my girls and I had been planning this from from one we had been we're not about to go there looking like like I don't know something like widows so we got uh, eyeliners the black eyeliners and the next day was a Sunday and unfortunately for me I was reading the first lesson that day. I think I was reading the no, I was reading the third lesson, no, first lesson, yeah, yeah. I was reading. So I was sitting on the altar along with the pastor, the chaplain, yeah, along with the chaplain, the principal, and then the elders. And I was just sitting. Until after the service, while we were about to go down, the principal came up. He was like, I have an announcement to make. And I was still very relaxed because I could not suspect that. I could not suspect that the principal was going to know. I thought when Opasi girls had us beaten like that, it was just going to remain there. I could not suspect. The guy sounded our names. He sounded our names. He came up and was like, you know, giving normal school announcements. And then he was like, oh, the following girls should stand up before I forget. He called our names. They wish my name. They called me. I was standing. In fact, I was already on the altar. So I just, I just stood up and everybody was looking at me like, this quiet girl. That stood up for us, and everybody was just smoking at us, laughing at us. Everybody was like, Aha, big girls, and all that. So, we had to go for the sporting meet the next week. And if you're if you've been to a body school, if you've been to a body school before, you know that when other body schools are coming to your school, you know they need to look hot. And if you are going to another body school, you know that you need to look hot, you need to present. Well, why people were representing my girls and I were representing without brows. So the entire time, at this one I felt like me cry. The entire time I was just crying. If anybody just say, Mom, what happened to your brows? I'll cry. I will cry. And that's how I just got to reach other P schools. Like those girls that are sitting there without brows. This is what happened to them. And everybody was like, In fact, now we went viral. When we came back to school, we had to face the disciplinary council. And if I'm here today, I'm using everything fast in my life. So we had to face the disciplinary council. And if you've ever faced the disciplinary council before in a body school, you know that every teacher comes in there with heat or her own torturing device that they're going to use on you. Well tortured, we're tortured and tortured. Very good, like, oh, because uh, some people at the disciplinary council had soft hearts, they're going to have to face a day suspension, buy five bags of cement work in the school farm and then transport blocks to the boys camp and that was all that was it everything just passed like that that's the story of how I almost got dismissed and if you've made it this far thank you thank you for watching this video to the end and please if you're new here please subscribe to this channel subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and more videos thank you for your audience thank you thank you see you guys in the next video